this is actually all the code for the app and I've got like 3,000 um, lines written of all this to make it work and this is um, and this will handle you know downloading um, pictures and such saving it on your phone and all that and so that took a lot of code to make um, to make it work with Flickr.com. Have you so you used Flickr a lot? I mean, before you know, this is kind of where you got the idea from. Yes, sir. I've used Flickr. I've used Flickr before for some photo sharing, and I decided I wanted to make a mobile app to work with it, and so I worked on this, and um, so I could view my photos and other people's photos on my phone. It probably took me five or six months. I've probably been working on this for five or six months, just in the time I had after school or something. And I think it would take less time if I had more of a chance to work on it. What this is just going to do is, once we get all your photos, uh, my app works offline. So even if you lose internet connection, all your stuff is still there. And so what this is actually doing is it's saving everything to your phone so it can be offline even when you're disconnected the photos are still there. Mine does have um, geolocation so it will tell you where the photo was taken if that's available. I think when I was maybe 10 I, I actually did start doing some basic programming and then um, and then once I did enough I realized that now I actually could make an app and that would be so um, so far-fetched anymore. On iTunes U they have the lecture, the video lectures from a Stanford college course and I watched all those lectures and did the assignment. He has spent a lot of time in here for um, the past several months. I'm just proud of him for being able to make, make the app and that's all I'm just proud of him. It's a lot of trial and error and a lot of frustration just for these things don't work because it's something specific to your app so there's a lot a lot of trial and error just testing it over and over and over again until you finally get it to work even if you don't you don't always know how but you just start changing something that seems unrelated and then maybe it will work maybe it doesn't you just have to kind of figure it out nobody knows what you want to do in your app and so you have to you really have to experiment with it because the documentation doesn't have stuff specific for your app, so it's, it's really a challenge to get it to work. The first time I really talked to them with something that's just very standard is I just, sub I just submit my, you just submit your app and they have to approve it. I was actually kind of frustrated at first because they rejected my app because I did not give them a username as a test. I actually emailed a lot of people and um, found some very nice employees there that would help me with that and get that fixed because that was my main problem is you can use it with any Flickr account but they were pretty adamant on me giving them a Flickr account. Its main use, which I think applies to a pretty good bit of people, is anyone that wants to be able to view their own photos on their phone or someone else's photos. If you just want to look at someone's photos, then it's, you know, pretty much a perfect app.